What up, man? It's your big brother, K. We, you know, look, before we get this video started, I want to uh, make a quick couple of announcements. Um, the South Park Coalition will be performing live. Myself, Point Blank, Klondike Cat, Murder One, Mr. Cat. We will be in the city of Eagle Lake, Texas, man. We'll be at Roy's, a place called Roy's in Eagle Lake, Texas, 600 East Main Street in Eagle Lake, Texas. That's June the 20th. Second, let me check that date. That's June the 22nd. That's where we will be. So be sure y'all come check us out in the following weekend. We will be in San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas on June the 29th at a spot called Verde Lux, which is located at 8800 Broadway. So all our folks out in Eagle Lake catch us on the 22nd. And all our family and folks out there in San Antonio catch us on the 29th. We got some other dates to announce as well. But let me get into this video, man. Hey, look. Y'all know how it is when um, people don't ever seem to want to share uh, knowledge and information with 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 you. I almost said they don't want to share knowledge and information with others. But what I found a lot of times in those situations is that there are actually people that they will share information on you know they, it may be a business tip it may be a business move something that they've done to um position themselves successfully um financially and you're a person that they know and you know them and you say hey man how'd you do that hey man what what's what's what did you do to to establish this or get this going and they never seem to want to break it down to you or tell you um, but like I say, there are, there are other people that they'll get a whole rundown to in, in a heartbeat. Um, you got to understand that a lot of times people are very, for whatever reason, are very threatened by the presence of someone that's close to them and the fear that that person may advance past them. And that is a thought that should not even exist in our minds especially when it comes to somebody that we claim that we love, somebody we claim that we cool with, somebody we claim that's my boy, that's my girl, that's my brother, that's my sister. You should want to to um, get them the game. You should be about to break your leg running to tell them the game, willingly. Um, but when you have that kind of spirit in you where you feel like... Um, Giving them something will mean that something will be taken away from you. Then you've missed the whole idea. You've missed the whole boat and the understanding of, of how this thing works, how this, um, this reciprocation thing works, this blessing thing works. You will get back what you give, and you're not losing anything. And that that's always been... Um, a situation where I, I look at it and I, and I, I get kind of um, I, I won't say confused because again I know why but it's still it's just baffling to me in a way because um, you don't know that when you give you are getting back you're simultaneous, simultaneously getting something back the second you give it and you should want the people around you to advance to be on your level but there are people who take enjoyment, they take pleasure in being the only one that's at the top, being the only one that's doing good, and they like, hey, y'all might not believe me, but they like to see their friends and family under them, and, and, and in some cases, like to see them struggling. And they, they know that they may, may be able to offer a word or to offer some advice or to put them in a position where they can do it for themselves, especially the ones who are not asking you to give them nothing in terms of just like, give me the money. Hey, man, put me in a crib. Hey, man, buy me a car. Hey, man, give me this, give me that. No, people who are just, just sincerely trying to find out, hey, man, just give me the game. I don't want nothing but the game, and I'll take the game, and I'll put it into practice the same way you did. And, um, and figure it out, but there's a lot of folks that don't do that. That's why you see a lot of people around here that um, um, that greed kicks in, and they are just on top of the world, and those under them are like peasants, you know. And in some cases, man, they barely making it. 
These people are barely making it. So, and, but the weird part about it is, uh, the same game that you are withholding, the same information that you are withholding from somebody, more than likely, somebody gave it to you. Now, there are cases where the person might have figured it out on their own, they learned this on their own, they did all the due diligence or whatever, but a lot of times, somebody put you on game, and now, when somebody's put you on game, now you want to hide the light, and you don't want to share it with anybody else, and that's one of our biggest detriments, you know, as a people, that we don't um, bring people up. We don't, we don't want for our brother and our sister what we want for ourselves. And and we don't we don't believe enough in a higher power to say well you know hey man the same way I'm already blessed but to continue to get your blessings you know you got to continue to plant seeds if you have a good if you're a farmer and you have a good harvest that don't mean you stop planting seeds and stop farming you got to keep the process going and going and going but I would love to see my next door neighbor is farm doing well i would love to see the person on the other side the person down the way doing well because that's a reflection of me and a reflection of the blessing that god gave me so don't be one of those type of people who get a little information who get a little uh knowledge and get a little position and power and then you decide man i ain't telling them that no, I ain't hey man pass it along and let them do what they will with it you know, and it's up to them to, to make it uh, successful or to, you know, to not. And then you end up, but whatever happens, you've done your job. So y'all keep that in mind as you move forward. It's your big brother, K. Green. Over, and I'll catch y'all later on with another one real soon. Peace.